Now let us look at uh, 2018 paper 2, GC. It's saying that figure 1.0 shows a diagram of a developing insect. Okay, so this figure they're saying that it's showing uh, it's, uh, a diagram of a developing what? Developing insect, okay? So this is an insect, okay? Now just be able to have the manifolds, we have got the antenna, we have got the compound eye, we have got uh, the thorax, the femur, we have got the tibia, we have got the wing, then we have got uh, the abdomen, we have got the aspiracle. Okay? Then they are saying uh, from the figure above, which is figure 1.0, identify three parts which show that the insect is a living organism by associating the parts to related particular characteristics of living organisms. So they want us to identify any, 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 any three parts, okay? And you need to identify the characteristics of a living organisms which show, now the parts which show that uh, this organism, it is uh, a living organism. An insect is a living organism. So they want us to prove that this uh, insect which is a living organism by identifying a part with its corresponding characteristic of what living organism. A part with its corresponding characteristic of what living organism. Now we have got a lot of characteristics of living organism. There are a lot of characteristics of what living organism. We have got movement, we have got respiration. We have got sensitivity, we have got feeding, we have got reproduction, we have got excretion. Now, out of all those, they want us to identify uh, a part from this insect and then or three parts from this uh, insect and the corresponding what characteristic which proves that this insect is what it's a living organism. So, we have got uh, the characteristics of living organisms. Okay? So, you can use this to master these characteristics. We have got what we call Mr. Okay, Mr. Mr. White. Gray. Mr. Gray. Mr. Graphic. Mr. Graphic. Okay? So this is what can help you to remember the characteristics of living organism. So where this M stands for movement. Okay. All living organism, living organism and the movement. Then we have got uh, respiration, the O and the O respiration, O living things and the O respiration, then G growth, okay, the and the growth, then reproduction, the O reproduce, okay, reproduction, then excretion, if we excretion, if not, if we excretion. Then this one, F for feeding, feeding or you can say nutrition, okay. Then I for irritability, irritability, irritability or you can say sensitivity, okay, or you can say sensitivity, sensitivity, okay. They all then systems what cells. They all consist of what a cell. So I put M for movement, then R for uh, respiration, then G for growth, then R for reproduction, E for excretion, F for feeding or nutrition, then I for irritability or sensitivity, and then C for cells. Meaning they all consist of what cells. Whether plants or animals, they all consist of what Cells. That's why I've got a uh, plant cell and what animal cells. Okay? So these are the characteristics, the major characteristics of all living organisms. Characteristics of what living organisms. Now, what they want is they want us to identify three parts from this insect, and then we need to identify uh, a characteristic for each part, which shows that this Insect, it is truly a living organism. So we identify three parts and the corresponding or associated so then to what uh, part. Okay? So we identify the parts, then those parts will correspond.
corresponds to the uh, characteristics of what living organisms. So I'm going to start with uh, this one. The mandible. The mandible. Now, which feature is associated with the mandible? Out of these characteristics, which one? Which one? The mandible. Okay, so you've got something like a mouth inside there. So this one shows that uh, this insect feeds and it goes what? Feeding, not great. So, you can say this one goes what? Feeding, so you can say you've got the mandible, the part. So this box has got uh, two. Two columns. Uh, the first column shows facts, then the other one shows what uh, characteristics of what living uh, things or organisms. So if you identify the part, like in, in my case, my part is what? Mandible. So you say the mandible, the mandible is associated with which characteristic? So it's a feeding. Meaning this is a Feet. Then, which other part can we identify? The eye. Okay, the eye. The compound eye, compound eye. So you say compound, compound eye. Now we call that uh, the eye it is uh, a sensitive white, it is a sensitive organ. Okay, so the eye for what is sensitivity. Okay, the eye for sensitivity. So this one can say the I for for sensitivity. Okay? So the I for sensitivity. Sensitivity. Okay, the I for sensitivity. Uh, then can we pick the right? The wing. The wing for movement, yes. The wing for what? To say movement. The wing for movement. Probably that, okay? This is what they wanted. Then let us uh, move, move on. Oh, can we pick the antenna? The antenna of what? Sensitivity. The antenna of what? Uh, sensitivity. Okay? Then uh, B is saying uh, stage two characteristics of living things not shown in the uh, figure. Meaning, out of this, we have got these. Characteristics of living organisms. Now, which ones are not uh, shown by these parts? Which ones are not shown in this case? So, you have got one, uh, respiration has not been shown, okay? So, you see respiration, respiration, virus, 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 reproduction, okay? Repro. What's the reproduction? Reproduction. Reproduction. Excretion. All those. All these are not been shown, okay? Reproduction, excretion, respiration. Okay, now the only one is two, okay? Then we say B, Roman numeral 2, it's saying uh, which characteristic of living things is only found in animals? Which characteristic of what? Living organisms is only found in animals, only in animals, meaning not in plants, but only in animals. Okay, which one can you go? It has quite this movement. You have got movement. Now, under this movement, you can even say locomotion. Under this movement, you can even say loco locomotion. Now, what is the difference between the two? Okay, uh, locomotion involves uh, the movement of the entire organism. Okay, the entire organism moves. The entire body of an organism moves. While pertaining to movement, only some parts. Only some parts moves. Okay? But for locomotion, the, the entire body of an organism moves. Okay? Like in animals. Animals, the entire organism can move. Okay? From one point to another, from one place to another. But for plants, plants, they only have a movement. In such a way that only some parts of a plant moves or the or responds. I'll give an example. Uh, you have got the shoots. The shoots can move, can respond to what to light. Okay? Then the roots, the roots can respond to what? They are they are positively what? Uh, Idotropism or positively job tropism. The roots. If you have got a plant, 
Uh, if this is our plant, this is our plant. Okay, I'm going to plant like this. Okay, it's going to plant. Here are my leaves. Then I'm going to root. Okay? So this one represents the shoots. The shoots. Then, these are the roots. The roots. Okay, that. So in terms of uh, uh, tropism, uh, in terms of tropism, in terms of let's say phototropism and what? John tropism. You realize uh, the roots can move towards what? Towards gravity. The roots can move towards what? Towards water. Okay? But not the entire plant moving. Like uh, the entire plant moving towards water. But only some parts of the plant are going to move towards what? Towards water. Like to what? Positive uh, hydrotropism. Okay? Yeah, so, meaning a plant can undergo movement and not locomotion. Only animals undergo it, locomotion because an animal can move from one place to another. The entire body moves. Okay? But for plants, only some parts see, can be moved. But that's movement. So, locomotion involves the movement of the entire uh, body of an organism. Then, uh, movement, it only involves some parts, like. Uh, for plants, only some parts. The shoot can move towards light, that is positive phototropism. Uh, the roots can move towards water, that is positive hydrotropism. The shoot can move towards what? Uh, gravity, that is what is positive phototropism. Now, let us look at uh, this question which feature or characteristic of living things is only found in animals? Only in animals. So, we are saying what? Locomotion. Loco. Okay. Then we have a uh, question, question C. It says, uh, what, what are the two processes which make up metabolism in living organism? What is meant by metabolism, by the way? Metabolism, you know, metabolism is the sum total of chemical reaction that takes place within a, a cell. Metabolism is simply the sum total of whom? Chemical reaction that takes place in a cell. That's metabolism. What is metabolism? Metabolism is the sum total of chemical reaction that takes place in a or within a cell. Now these chemical reaction, sum total of chemical reaction that takes place are uh, in a cell. They are in two types. Okay? These are in two types. Okay? These are in two types. We have with those chemical reaction which uh, builds up, builds up, and those which uh, breaks down, those which breaks uh, down, so uh, those which builds up, and those which breaks down, so those which builds up, okay, those which are responsible for synthesis, they are called anabolic metabolic reaction, anabolic metabolic reaction, then those which uh, break down the body catabolic uh, metabolic reaction. Okay? Yes, so we have got anabolism and catabolism. What is anabolism? Anabolism is the synthesizing of uh, large molecules from smaller molecules. Then the catabolism is the breaking down. Breaking down of larger molecules into a deep, smaller molecules. So catabolism, catabolism involves breaking down. Then anabolism involves building up or synthesizing. Okay, building up. Okay, then catabolism involves the breaking down. So I'm saying metabolism is simply uh, the sum total of chemical reaction that takes place within a cell. These are two types of what? Uh, anabolic reaction and decatabolic reaction. Anabolic reaction, uh, these are reactions which involves the building up of uh, smaller molecules into a T to form a larger complex what molecule. Then in the opposite catabolic uh, catabol catabolic reaction or catabolism which involves uh, breaking down of larger molecules into smaller single ones. Okay? So you have got uh, the two types of anabolism anabolism then you have got the other one is what catabolism so these are the two types of processes. So anabolism is saying it's the building up. Okay? 
of larger molecules which are complex from smaller molecules. E.g., an example of uh, anabol uh, anabolism is what photosynthesis. E.g., there is the E.g. Uh, photosynthesis. Photosynthesis involves building up. Okay. Photosynthesis. Then, catabolism. I say this one involves the breaking down of larger molecules into a uh, smaller molecules. E.g., respiration. We know that respiration is the breaking down. Breaking down of glucose to release what age. Okay? So these are the two solutions we wanted. Okay?